Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to be doing an unboxing of one of 2017's latest bags, the Gucci Marmont. So I got my Gucci Marmont straight from the Paris boutique through a personal shopper. Her name's Tin. I'm going to comment down her Instagram username below so you guys can follow her and check her out. And basically, I ordered it from her because if you know... If you go to the Gucci boutique here in Manila and check out the prices, it's like marked up way, way, way high. Apparently, it was sold out everywhere in Europe, and she tried really hard in getting me that ba this bag, so she was able to get it for me. It was the last piece in Europe at that time, so I'm so glad that she was able to get it. So anyway, let's just go into the bag. This is what it came in. She shipped this to me. Just when, when did she ship it to me? Um, probably like two weeks ago, a week ago, yeah. And I love shopping through personal shoppers because usually they have the complete package. Like, sometimes they even give the receipts. Anyway, so it came in this bag. And as you can see, it's like a little, um, what do you call this? It's a little folded because it was shipped, so she, she had to fold this. And let's just get into the bag. And this is... The cute little box, the cute little Gucci box. So let me just move this over here. So this is the box that it comes in with an adorable ribbon, pink ribbon, perfect for Valentine's. So let's just open it. This really adorable box. And so it comes in this box so it just opens. It has like a magnetic closure. So this opens. And there it is. I love Gucci's packaging now. It's like they really made an effort in creating nice packaging. Not like before. So anyway, it comes in this little dust bag. Gucci dust bag. And this is the bag! So pretty! So this is the Gucci Marmont Matelassé. I'm not sure if it's Matelassé or... Yeah, if I'm saying that right. It's the Matelassé shoulder bag with chevron quilting. I'm actually going to refer to my phone to give you the details of what this... of the actual specifications of this bag because I don't memorize it. So it's the shoulder bag with a chain strap. Obviously I love chain straps. I love wearing crossbody bags. So this is like the perfect bag for me. Um, the description, it's with antique gold hardware. The leather is calf leather. And this is the small size. Guys, the small is the perfect size. There's a, This comes in a mini, a small, and a medium. The mini is... Okay, well, it's good for, like, partying. And then the medium size is just a bit too much. For me, the medium Gucci Marmot resembles probably a Chanel Jumbo Flap. So you can't really party with it. I, I actually bought this because... I needed a party bag, and guys, I swear, this is the perfect party bag, because I have my Chanel, but it's hard to party in that. But I'll tell you more about it later. But anyway, so, this small size, right? It's 10 inches in width, so this is 10 inches, and then 6 inches in height, so from here to here, it's 6 inches, and the diameter is, oh, the depth is, diameter, the depth is 3 inches. So that is the, that's the dimensions of the bag. And the shoulder strap is 22 inches. This, it's a 22 inch drop from there. So it's perfect, it's really perfect for crossbody. I'll, um, I'll add some modeling videos later. So let's just get into the bag, let's open it up. It comes, it has some magnetic closure over here. So you can just like click that and then it opens up all the way there. So this bag has a microfiber interior. So this interior it still has like all the 
tissue in there. So this is the interior of the bag. So it's so adorable because it's pink and it matches my matches my jacket right now. It's a microfiber pink interior and it came in with uh, cards, the Gucci card. I'm not sure if you guys can see clearly. And the the swatch of the leather. Then you close it just by clicking it. And it's all safe inside. So now I'm going to give you guys a first impressions review of this bag. And I'll just give you like a brief story of how I came to buying it. The story about it first was... Um, I was... I went to the mall with my family. We... I went there with my sister. I told my sister to try this on because it, it, she was also looking for a bag at that time. But I told her to try this on and it looked really cute on her. Except I was like, oh, but I already have my Chanel flat bag. But then the thing with this bag is the chain is really long. It's so perfect for crossbody because the Chanel flap, you can't crossbody that. Like, if you crossbody the Chanel flap, it's going to be like here. I swear, like, it, it falls there. So, so this was the perfect bag because it cross bodies all the way to my hip, and I'll show the videos later of where it falls on. Anyway, so I saw this and I was like, oh wow, that looks really good. It's so perfect for parking, but then it's so similar to my Chanel. And also, I wasn't sure about this. Like, okay, this was really the deal breaker for me when I first saw it in store. I was like, oh. That looks really cheap. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. This this looks really cheap. Like, I, I don't think in 10 years I'm gonna be, you know, like this. Maybe now it's in. Like, a lot of girls actually like the heart behind this Gucci Marmot. But for me, uh, like... I mean, at least, thank God, like, no one sees it, right? Like, it's just like that the entire time. But everything else is perfect. It's just like this heart over here that was a deal breaker. So after initially seeing this bag, I was just like, okay, just let it go. Like, I still have my Chanel, whatever. And then, okay, I will tell you how I got to actually buying it. I saw it on my friend. Because at first I thought it was cheap. It looked cheap to me. Like, especially the heart. And then I saw one of my friends had the had this same, I think it was the Gucci, it's still it's the Gucci Marmot, but it was like the wallet on chain, so, so that was like the square, basically a wallet on a chain, and it had, I think it still had the chevron print on it, and I was like, oh wow, she, she makes it look good, so I was like, okay, I'm so I'm buying it. When I saw it on her, and she pulled it off, I was like, okay, I can pull it off, so I was like, okay, let, let's go for that bag, like if, up one of the one of the personal shoppers have it and if it comes in at a reasonable price then let's go for it. So I did and I finally took the plunge and got this bag. Okay. Now for the actual first impressions review, this is the perfect party bag. Okay, like I have no party bags. Most of my bags are just like going out bags. And I party so much. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I do party a lot. And I don't have bags that I can easily bring crossbody. Before, I, I'm, if you've watched my previous videos, I just bring my wallet with me. I was starting to get tired of bringing just the wallet. So, I was like, wow, this is perfect. Because the thing with the Chanel flap is it only, it falls so short if it, if you do it crossbody. And I love dancing at parties. So it was a requirement for me that the next bag that I get for parties is a crossbody bag. So I can easily dance in it. Okay, that's one thing, okay? The next thing is that it has, that it's safe. That, that was a requirement for me. Like, okay, if this didn't come in a metal closure, if it came in like a push button, like how other wallet unchains are, or how like the YSL college bag, the college um, crossbody bag came in, 
like if it came in that where you, it's just like a snap button closure, I wouldn't have gotten it because that's so unsafe. Like I would get mugged all the time if I used that to clubs. Okay, if I got a push button to clubs. So thank God because this is a metal clasp and it's very safe. Like you can't just open, you can't just pull it out like that. You have to press this, and I don't think like thieves at clubs would know that that's how you open this. So it would take them a while to actually figure it out. And yes, like I have, I have trauma over you know, thieves at parties. That's why, like, I'm very, I'm very, what do you call this, picky when it comes to party bags. It has to be safe. Safe. You know? Because I can't trust myself. I have to trust my bag. Like, I'm just irresponsible like that. So I have to get a bag that will be responsible for me. So anyway, so the, the, that's the first thing that, that made me, that, you know, made me get this bag because aside from it's the perfect length, the snap, uh, the metal closure, and the last thing for me would be this, the interior. So as you can see, it has a zipper inside, right? So I can put my phone in there because phones are usually the most stolen thing at clubs. So. <laughs> So, I can just put my phone in there, like if I'm already at the very drunk stage, and then just zip it in. And then, no one's gonna find it anymore. So, at least I have double protection. There's the zipper, and then there's this. And usually what I like to do at clubs is, if I'm already so... Okay, I'm gonna go remove the plastic now. What I like to do at clubs is, if I'm already at that, like, drunk stage and I know that I'm not going to be able to take care of my belongings anymore, I usually flip the bag around like this. So instead of wearing it in the front, I wear it backwards like that. So at least, even if I wear it backwards, there's still a design, which is actually, like, I only realized it now that it's actually useful to have this design because it still looks like a front part of a bag, not even without using this side. It is a gorgeous bag. And I would recommend this for anyone who loves to party. It's the perfect party bag. It's a safe, it's a very safe and secure bag for partying. Like, I can't wait to go out with this bag. Okay, now I've said the pros and what I love so much about it. Now I'm going to give you some possible cons. Design-wise, you, you guys already know my main concern is the heart because I don't really love the heart so much. But, you know, we can let that pass because it's not going to be seen anyway. Um, another con would be the leather. Most of my bags are very low maintenance. My Chanel's are in caviar leather, so I just like, whatever. I don't really care for them that much. Um, my Balenciaga over here is actually here. Like, this is, what do you call this leather? This is, it's, you know, oh, they're distressed leather. So this is my Balenciaga and it's in distressed leather. So I just like throw this around as well. And most of my bags, they come in really durable leather or they come in smooshy leather. This, on the other hand, it's the type, it looks like the type that can get scratches easily. I mean, with my other bags, like, you don't really have to worry about the scratches or anything. I just dump those everywhere. But, yeah, this one looks so prone to scratches, so prone to dents. Like, this is the type where if you, like, leave the chain too close to it for a long time, like, for sure you would see dents. And I don't think that's something really nice to look at if your bag has dents and stuff. Uh, so I think this is a very high maintenance bag. I would have to take extra care of it. Also, it's boxy, but it's not, um, stru it's not very structured. Like, it's very pliable, as you can see, like, this is the type where if you sit on this, if there's nothing inside and you sit on this, it's gonna be flat. Like, you just don't wanna catch yourself sitting on this bag or there's no turning back. Like, it's gonna be... 
an ugly bag forever, to be honest. So there, it's just really high maintenance and I'm not really the type to baby my bags, so I'm very concerned about that. But uh, aside from that, everything goes well. For me, okay, this is just my opinion, this is the perfect Chanel flap alternative. It's not as classy, it's not as timeless as the Chanel flap, but if you're looking for functionality, and that's what I look for in bags, bags that I can bring to parties, bags that, you know, basically bags that will fit my lifestyle, and crossbody bags and chain bags always fit my lifestyle and my fashion sense. So, if if that's what you're looking for, this could totally replace like a Chanel flap. Plus the price point, it's like what, maybe one third of an actual Chanel flap in this size. Which by the way, if anyone wants to request a comparison between the Chanel medium flap and the Gucci small marmot because they're actually almost the same size, just comment down below and I would be glad to make a video on that. So I hope that you guys like my unboxing and first impressions review of this bag. After maybe a few times of wear, I would make a follow-up review on it since I raised my concerns regarding how this would hold up through time. And I hope if you were thinking of getting this bag, then I was able to enlighten you with some insight and opinions on it. Thanks for watching my channel, and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye!